Okay, George, it's in with defeat to Solihull. What did you make of today? Um, today it was a difficult, difficult one for us. Um, we've come with a game plan, and we was in the game. There was nothing in the game, um, but just before the break, we considered from from a restart. And sometimes, go do lift teams um, again. That didn't knock us off. Um, we said to the players at halftime, stay in the game and keep playing the way we're doing. Um, we have to make we have to make a tactical change and brought on TT um, so he could give us he could give us um, a little bit of more attacking threats going forward. And he did that. Um, so there wasn't to be we considered the second goal. I mean it was a frustrating one night, you know, conceding towards the end of the first half. I mean it was a cracking strike, but obviously we've been disappointed of how he set up with giving away the free kick and the fact that he was left in a lot of space on the edge of the box. Yeah, I haven't got any issues with our players giving our free kicks. It's how we defend them. Um, sometimes it do happen and I'm not going to tell the players not to challenge. They have to, that's their jobs. Out of position, we have to try and defend. And if we do give a free kick away and it ends up um, in the back of our net, then it, it, so be it. And, you know, you, you can't take that competitive edge away from, from our players. Um, but it was, a, it was a wrong time to concede a goal. But that never um, dampened the spirit of the players. We got them, we, got them, we, we spoke to them at halftime and we changed, we changed our, our shape tactically. We went into Plan B. I've always said we never scared to to go into Plan B. And when, once we did that, um, I thought we, we was more a little bit more effective in the game. Um, but we're just missing that a little bit um, extra quality to finish to finish off the attacks we, we created. I think yeah, like I say, it was probably more of a final pass or thing. We just didn't have quite that, that final quality in the final third. Really, was there anything maybe behind that? You know that, that we could be picked up on possibly. Yeah. Um, that's our job to nullify it uh, as, as a management team behind the scenes to make sure we try and help our players with those informations um, to be more tactically and technically um, as true to make sure we finish teams off when we do create those chances. So we'll get to work straight away and make sure we try and. Um, nullify those those moments and make sure we show our players what we need them to do. Obviously, you gave a start to Kevin Murko today at left back. Obviously, he probably wouldn't have played too much football for for a while. How did you think he got on? Yeah, we, he got on. He got on okay. He done. He done okay. He done all right. He said, you know, he's been he trained with us on Thursday and obviously yesterday to get used to the group. So we knew what he could give us. Having not played for a long time, but he's a good player. And there's more to come from him. So, but we need to manage him right because he hasn't played for a while. So, and we and we knew that. Um, so we have to make sure we take it one game at a time and not and not push him too too hard. Um, you know. So we, we're making sure we are in close communication with um, the medical department and, and our sport sport analysts um, to make sure they give us more data and try for us to try and, and help Kevin out to make sure. He's he's um, picking at the right time with us, and that's his, that's the thing as well. When you bring TT as well, he's had a, obviously a couple of games in the, in the last few weeks and everything, so he's been a bit more settled than that. And you know, he, he got in a few moments of that where he was turning their players, and a bit again, it was just like we've said before from the, from the whole team, just that yeah, that final ball wasn't quite there, was it? No, no, we know that. Um, listen, sometimes games, games, you, you play games and you don't quite have that the cutting edge at the end or the end product that we all crave for. But again, it's up to us, the coaching staff, to make sure we help we help the players with these informations and with um, video clips to make sure we show them where where they need to be in certain moments to help us, you know, create those chances and finish them off. Mm. And I think, like we said, we, things are obviously getting a little bit more tougher for us at the bottom. But again, Tuesday, another opportunity against a side like Wilston where we were just moments away from getting three points against them at the start of the season. But you know, again, they, they'll be completely different sides when we face them and they're, they'll be quite good at home. But you know, you'll be looking to really bounce back on that one, won't you? Yeah, definitely. You always look forward to the next game. Um, but this is the beauty of football where the next game is so close to us. And I'm sure the players will be will be chomping on a bite to, to make sure, you know, everyone look to get an opportunity to play against a good Wilson side. We know how good they can be on the on their day, but we have to go there. Um, three points is not going to be handed to anyone in, in any football match. Everywhere you go, every, every team that you play, come up against, they're competing to, to gain three points as much as we are. So we have to end, we have to end the three points. It's not given, it's end. So um, again, we're going to look forward to, to Tuesday night. But for now, the recovery process starts with, with our players. We're making sure we, we look after the ones that are fit to make sure um, we can prepare them right for Tuesday coming. Well, thanks for your time, George. We'll see you again, Thank you very much.